Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the world around us and why. The Bible says in Psalm 2, Why are the nations in an uproar and the people devising a vain thing? The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us tear their fetters apart and cast their cords from us. Well, he who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Then he will speak to them in his anger and terrify them in his fury, saying, But as for me, I have installed my king upon Zion, my holy mountain. I will surely tell of the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Well, it's not Christmas time yet. But I was thinking that God already has a plan for dealing with all these troubles that are going on around the world. As I am speaking at this time, the uh, Parliament in England has spent the day discussing Syria and the possibility of an invasion there. Our President and the Secretary of Defense and the Security of, the Secretary of State and so forth have been discussing the possibility of, quote, firing a shot across the bow of Syria, unquote. And uh, I was thinking, all of this fits into God's plan. Uh, as much as I dislike what's going on in the world, when it asks the question, it says, Why are the nations in an uproar, and the people devising a vain thing? The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers take counsel. That's what they're doing together. It's against the Lord. They're not asking the question, What would God have us to do in this circumstance? They're trying to think about how they can work things out to create peace that won't last or how they can um, resolve these kind of problems where the government is oppressing the people or the people are attacking their government and the poor little people in the middle are all getting hurt by all of this. The truth is the Lord is still on the throne. He's in control. Don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid by the events that are going on around us. Understand this, the Lord already has this in his plans, and whatever nations do, whatever people do and devise for their schemes, the Lord will remain in control, and he will work this out together for good to those who love him and to them who are called according to his purpose. So my question isn't, what are the nations going to do? They're always going to rage and cause trouble. My question, friend... What about you? Do you have faith in Jesus Christ? And are you prepared to say, no matter what's going on around me, I will not be afraid because I'm going to keep my eyes on the Lord and trust Him. If you are that person who trusts in the Lord, then you don't need to be afraid because God's got you in His hand. He's not ever going to let go. He will take care of you. And when it's time to leave this this earth with all of its many, many troubles, you know that you're going to live in heaven forever with him. So don't get too discouraged by all this stuff going on. Understand it's all in the plan. Uh, that is, not that God planned the trouble, but that he knew men would act like this, and he's going to deliver us out of it. So look up. Don't be discouraged. I love you, and so does God. You have a great day.